Welcome to the third video of this little mini series about how to set up a Selfie shop. In the first video I showed you the basic stuff on how to set up a Selfie store. In the last video, in the second video, we customized our Selfie store and in this video we're going to add the first product. If you haven't watched the other two videos and you are interested, just click up here, they're linked up there and on the end card and in the description. But if you just want to know how to add the first digital product, we're gonna do that right now. So we're on the dashboard again and every point has a green check mark except for add your product, which is what we're going to do right now. So first we click on add product. You have a number of products that you can add, digital products, print on demand, subscription based, physical products and freebies. But for this tutorial we're going to add a digital product. So first we have to upload the product. When we're uploading the product we have to put all in a zip folder. I heard that you can also do it with a normal folder, but I had problems with it, so I'm just gonna do it with a zip folder. Also it has the advantage that it compresses the file size and everything gets a little bit smaller. So for this example I'm going to upload my Glitch Pack Volume 1, which has only about 380 megabytes, so it uploads pretty fast like you can see right here. If you click on the little info you can see that you can upload up to 55 files per product, but that the total file size can't exceed 10 gigabytes, which is pretty cool. I talked about this in the last video. I of course looked at other online store services. I have a Squarespace website, but you can only upload up to 300 megabytes to there. And with a Shopify store, you can upload up to 5 gigabytes. But with Selfie, it goes up to 5 gigabytes, which is pretty cool for digital online filmmaking products. Next, we're going to title our product. Right now it says my fancy product, but this is of course called Glitch Pack volume 1. Maybe we're doing a volume 2 in the future, but for now it's volume 1. Right here you can see the URL glitch minus pack minus volume minus 1. And next is the product description. I'm not going to write a full on product description right now. I'm gonna do that later. I'm just gonna give you an example. Test product volume whatever. And you can edit it just like in Word or Pages by doing stuff fat or making it sideways or maybe you want to underline something, you put it in the middle or on the right side or on the left side, as always. You can also link to something, just select it and click on this icon right here and you can just put in a URL, like for example I could link to my website when you click on my website. So when you now click on here, you can just get to my website. Next we're going to select a product category. We don't have any categories yet, so I'm going to add a new one. This category is going to be called overlays and the slug is slash overlays as well. It's visible on the page and we're going to save it. Now this product is in the category overlays. You can of course do more categories like for example glitches slash glitches and save it. The next thing is product preview and for this I would recommend one picture to kind of show off what the product is and then some example pictures. A lot of people do this for digital products and I did it as well. You can show it off as if it was a real physical product by creating a digital box and then you can just write Glitch Pack Volume 1 for example on it. I also put my logo on it and something to show off what the pack consists of, which is glitches. I just think it's a cool way to show it off, show off what it is, even if it's a digital product but it looks like a physical product and it shows off pretty cool what's in it. So this is the first image I'm going to upload because it shows off the product and then I'm going to upload some examples. These are just some examples of the glitches that are in the pack. I would recommend about three or more. More aren't always better. Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming when you're seeing too much, but I think three is a good number for the amount of examples that you should provide. Also, the recommended image size is 1240 to 930 pixels, but it can of course always go higher. A better image resolution results in a better image quality, which is pretty good, I guess. Next, you can set the price, which is right now on $10, but this product will cost, I guess, $30. Maybe I'll change that later. Consider subscribing for discount code if you want to buy something from my store. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And right next to the price setting you have the option pay what you want. So people can pay you even more if they want. You can set a minimum price like for example $30 but someone could pay even $50 or more. I'm just not gonna select that for this one because I think it's a set price. Next we have stock which is not that important for digital products because you can of course sell unlimited digital products. You don't ever run out of them like t-shirts. You just have 100 t-shirts you sell them and they're gone. But for digital products that's the good stuff about digital products products, you can sell unlimited. You just have to make them once and then you can sell them like 100,000 times. Then you can add variants, like for example maybe if you have a 4K version or a 1080p version, which I'm not gonna do because this is the only variant I'm going to sell. Then we can click on save product and that's it, we have successfully added our first product. You can now share the product by sharing the link and also embed the buy now button. There's one thing I forgot to tell you earlier, you 
you can add media preview and just provide a YouTube link. You can upload your example video or trailer for your pack on your YouTube channel and just link the video right here and it's going to be embedded on Sapphire, which is pretty cool. Moving on, if we now click on the dashboard again and visit the store, view the store, we can see we have the first product here. Isn't that great? If you now want to sign up for a Sapphire store for yourself, I would appreciate it very much if you sign up over my link down in the description. You don't have to, of course, and you could also check out my Sapphire store. Maybe there are some digital products that you want to buy for yourself. Also, there is a lot of free stuff on there, so feel free to check it out. If you now want to learn how to customize the store, be sure to click right here. Or if you want to know how to set up the store, click right here. And that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more filmmaking or filmmaking business related content. Also let me know if you have any more questions about Selfie. Maybe you want to know how to add a subscription product to your store or even a physical product. Just let me know and I'll make a video about that. Until next time, goodbye.